tell you what is it that uh, you know what is it that made me right and uh, that this anthology someone asked me just now are they all short stories no they are not they are they are uh, our expressions i would say you know whatever we feel about and what makes this goodness now why do we speak about goodness as something special maybe because we have a different history and uh, we come from a very different history like from the rest of india and uh, coming to to my own uh, essay or article or whatever uh, the name of my the title of my essay is uh, going to side to konanzo who are you lord of goa because we are talking of belongingness ways of belonging and uh, it was vivek who suggested i write about the going to side so when he suggested i thought it wasn't a good idea because so much has been said about him but then he said uh, nothing interesting has been said about him i don't know if i have said anything interesting but i have said what i thought was important within the word limit and uh, so that everyone knows because now he's a mythical figure saint francis xavier he is a mythical figure almost so i wanted to bring the myth back to reality and uh, there are some other factors also like uh, for instance um um the, uh, say uh, manohar sarvasai he calls us goans the world wanderers okay because wherever we are, we are always dispersed we we are always settling here and there and um and then the speaker nasrat who said that the goans like to project their image which may be true and uh, there's another couple of writers who said that uh, who wrote that um, goa is obsessed and here we are talking of the going catholics okay uh, i want to make that very clear because i can't generalize so i speak of what is familiar to me of what i know so uh he says that uh, or they say this couple or they are literary critics and they've written on the indo portuguese history of goa and uh, they say that um, that goans are obsessed by god and saint francis xavier so yes it's true actually he is the one who is one of the factors of our identity wherever we are we connect with saint francis xavier I'm not here to say whether he's good or bad not why do it in my article but I write objectively but I write what is generally true about him and also uh, there was another thing that I wanted to know is where does he stand today we're having an exhibition in November of the relics the exposition not exhibition an exposition of the relics so uh, I I was just wondering is it still relevant what what does the young crowd of today think about him so i did a quick survey and i found that uh, yes people of my generation we've grown up in this uh, in this uh, tradition of saint francis xavier but uh, given the youngsters in my survey all of them had heard about him i spoke to some who are not living here who are settled abroad they too have heard and i spoke also to non catholics Uh, non-christians who live in goa who have also heard so uh, there is this thing about saint francis xavier which unites us wherever we are the the catholic especially they know who he is they celebrate his day and uh, you know it's kind of binds everyone together because i have said once um, it's not my idea but it's benedict anderson's that there is something called an imagined community so well we are part of that imagined community the goans wherever they are they get together and they celebrate francis xavier i won't give you any details like uh, who was saying just now yeah yeah <laughs> when we had uh, uh, we was the venus uh, book release i expect you to read the article or the whatever and find out for yourselves who he is thank you